he calls me up late night sometimes. He's like, Conrad, I've been thinking about you. Aww. How are you doing, man? Are you doing all right? Are you feeling okay? How's life? I'm just like, KK, I'm hanging up right now. <laughs> What are you doing, KK? All right, we got carpets. Carpets for sale. KK's got carpets. So we got these carpets off of load, and the truck was so poorly loaded that like, like this is what we have left, and we still have like one decent sized pile and then one huge pile of these carpets. But essentially, these carpets were all standing up straight, and they weren't like secured to the pallet or anything like that. And they, the driver was driving, and then they just all went like that. So they're all laying flat, and we had to do them by hand. It, there's four in a box, uh, and it's all it's 90 pounds altogether. Each carpet weighs about like what is that? Like oh, like 20 pounds. Are they all the same size? They're all the same size, and there's four different patterns. So um, which one's your favorite? I don't care. You don't care? I don't. Care. You're not keeping one for yourself. I don't have anywhere to put it. I don't need. These are like indoor outdoor carpets. Uh, for the inside, they might be a little too rough, but outside they're, they're great. Guys, KK lives in a mansion and he said he doesn't have room for a carpet this small. Maybe. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> um, but yeah, you caught me off guard, but the point of the video of today is to show you guys Home Depot pallets or a, a couple of pallets, right? So we get Home Depot quite often and we like it. It's just that uh, there's some good quality stuff. But they all, everything is basically customer return. So keep that in mind, guys, that it's customer returns. And then we'll show you how we process it and what we do with the merchandise in there. It's pretty 50-50, stuff that is pretty good to resell. The other 50% is a uh, smaller bin store item. Uh, so we'll go through it. Some pallets are categorized, I don't know why, and some are just super mixed up of small stuff. So we'll hit you guys with the pallet in the next scene. Why are you so worried about others, man? Yeah. I appreciate you actually. KK is always concerned about me. He calls me up late night sometimes. He's like, Conrad, I've been thinking about you. Aww. How are you doing, man? Are you doing all right? Are you feeling okay? How's life? I'm just like, KK, I'm hanging up right now. <laughs> at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Oh shit, bro. I fucked myself up. I found some band-aids. Ah, you know, my fucking fingers coming apart. Look at this shit. Yikes. Ah, yap you dole, dude. So you wanted to talk about this crate, huh? Uh, this insane crate I made. How'd you, how'd you come up with the idea? Have you done this before? Never done this. I'm a problem solver here, so you know, solve the problem. Cause look, look, those are all rugs and they're just like, you can't move them, they just stay there. And then I'm selling a couple on Facebook Market, or I'm selling them on Facebook Marketplace, but it's going, it's not crazy, maybe like five per day. So if you're an uh, end buyer, there's a different price. And if you're reselling them, I have a different price, but that means that you gotta buy more quantity to get the cheaper price. So what's a, what's an end buyer, KK? End buyer is somebody that is actually gonna use the item at their house. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I do have a problem for you that you need to solve though, KK. What is that? Can you, can you show the, the people of YouTube the drill bit, you know, like side profile? Alright, so KK clearly needs a different drill bit. This I don't think he's too concerned though. This one's working perfect. <laughs> so these carpets are what? Mostly local pickup, right? Mostly, yeah. I don't know if we'll sell a truckload. I kind of don't want to load a whole truck of this shit either. How are my forearms looking? Forearms? Your forearms are looking great. <laughs> what? Wrong way. design Damien was trying to make one but he cut his finger so mine's better of course the first thing KK says to me today is like okay no guys I'm gonna go throughout the day without caffeine dude I will I'm like 
I'm like, KK, are you, I, I don't know if you're gonna do it. He goes, dude, it's super easy, Red Bull. Dude, uh, I was falling asleep at like 10.30, so <laughs> I had to pick me up to get. <laughs> KK needed to pick me up. Look, I gotta send this, uh, somebody's buying a rug, so. Oh, nice. Nice polo, man. But making another crate, probably make three or four more, and then we'll start loading up some carpets. Oop. Sorry I keep on turning your music off, KK, but... Press pause. It's still playing. King's like, it's a good song. Press pause. So, KK, what's going on? Huh? What's going on? I sold some carpets. <laughs> Facebook Marketplace? Yeah. What's up, Sav? What's up? How are you feeling what's today, up? bro? Pretty good. Just short step, that's all. Yeah? And so what does that mean for you? A little more work, but that's all right. Yeah, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> well, we got this surprise pallet in, and we're just taking the rugs out of here, putting them right there. Uh -huh. You see, we made, made these creative, creative pallets. <laughs> they hold about 30 rugs each. I think it'll work, because how they came was just not it. <laughs> yeah, so th this is how they were supposed to be, right? Yeah. But they came all like that, and worse. Yeah, Mr. Damien isn't here, and he just put us to this test, so we're getting it done. <laughs> there you go. Nice, man. All right, KK wants to complain YouTube. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a tough day today. Nah, it's not tough. It's just a lot of stuff's going on. I mean, you uh, know, I'm a problem solver here, as they like to call me. But yeah, let me get a drink of water first. A red, red Bull. A red Bull. Just a bottle of water. Mm. All right, let's go. Let's go check out these Home Depot pallets and see what they're about. So. When you get a Home Depot load, the way I see it, you get some bigger items on pallets sometimes where you only have like two, three items. It might be a vanity, it might be a grill or like an air conditioner. So you could get those sometimes from a Home Depot load. And then you could get uh, galers like this. I don't know if they categorize it by size, but I'm assuming they do because like in this one, you have a whole bunch of big stuff. Like you have this D-wall like pressure washer accessory like uh, cleaner out here you have like a big box of like just keep on going through some stuff yeah a big box you have like like, like this is brand new like, this still has like this on it right so and it, all these boxes are probably the same size so it's it's bigger things um that are pretty valuable <clears throat> there's like kitchen faucets right there that's probably like 80 bucks or something mailboxes too right there um lights lights i don't know what i think about lights though the thing about lights it's like i don't know i just don't know like they don't sell i don't i don't know if they sell or not i really can't get my mind around uh lights we have a what is this a garden hose discharge uh, i'm not sure what that means or what it does is it like a pump I think it pumps. Yeah, it pumps oh, all water. it's a pump. It's basically a pump. So that's not a bad find. Lights. Don't know the. It's still trying to figure out lights. Oh, like an indoor outdoor spray spray paint sprayer. Um, nothing crazy, but it's more of a DIY type of uh, thing, not a professional one. These lights. I got them at my place. They set the tone. They're good, they're for outside, and they're super bright. 20 super, feet. Super popular now. Yeah. Here's some gloves. I don't know why these gloves. I think they're in by mistake, but they're for little people because they barely fit my hand. Mm, there's more gloves. Faucet. More faucets. This looks pretty brand new. Uh, what are some of these boxes? The, the, the cardboard ones that don't have like... It's just fragile. I'm trying to figure out what it is. Oh, it's a backsplash or side splash handle with care All right so this is stuff that you're gonna have to open and actually look what's in there again the mailbox there's two of them another one that's where that's where your emails go into those mailboxes another kitchen faucet glacier bay that's a decent brand we see that quite often yeah so this i do need to clean my car but i don't got time we got some rollers. You got another, uh, another sprayer. No, this is a uh, fresh, fresh water for home appliances. This is like another <coughs> um, jet pump, shallow well. What is it used for exactly? 
Yeah, not sure exactly oh. what this is used for, but see, it looks pretty like it looks pretty sturdy. It's heavy though, that's for sure. Yeah, so we went through one fourth of this Gaylord, but so we would go through the whole thing. We clean up, get like the random stuff, the stuff that's not sellable out of here and we'd put it back into a Gaylord and then we put it into the bins. So the mystery hardware boxes that you could buy on our website, they're gonna be coming out of mostly this, these loads, right? So maybe you could get an idea of what it is. We're trying to have a nice piece count in the boxes. So the bigger stuff isn't gonna be there. The smaller stuff that's like valued at like 20 to like 50 bucks is gonna be in those boxes. For the boxes, we use this kind of Gaylord. For the mystery boxes, right? For the mystery box, correct. And um, we're not gonna have this, these bigger items. It's gonna be more of the smaller merchandise in those boxes, right? If you buy one. So just to give you guys a heads up of what's gonna be in there. It's gonna be like between $25 and $50 uh, price range, but you get a big quantity of them, right? So uh, yeah, this is just an idea. This, this Gaylord had bigger items. Most of the Home Depot Gaylords have smaller ones. We do have some that we're gonna show you uh, with that have smaller items in it. So, so what's, what's some of the stuff you could find in the, like the, the, the higher piece count, I guess, Gaylords, right? Just this little stuff, like you're gonna find a bunch of these, just straps, right? This is just a, a strap. It has a price on it, 24 bucks. It's a Husky vehicle recovery strap. So this is pretty strong. Um, of a strap it could definitely do some weight <clears throat> like this uh we would have to make a decision if we're going to put it in the box or not uh when we're creating these boxes so what else is in here like you're gonna find a bunch of stuff that's not in the packaging it's in like a regular bag <clears throat> so like stuff like that we have to throw out just because we don't know what's in them um and then there's stuff like this you know this is taped over I could assume that all the parts are in there, but it, it is it does it doesn't have that new brand new feel to it. So this is something we would throw in the bins for. Still a great item. It's just that it's not like a brand new item that we have. Here's for a uh, patio door hose. This is for like a bathtub type of thing. Husky. I think this is for an air compressor, connectors, valves. Not sure what this is. It's like a special type of drill. Oh, this is to drill holes into uh, wood. The end. These are nice. Do some gardening with them. A little used, but let's go. Some sawed off PVC pipes. Always a good thing. Could always, uh, I don't know what we do with that. We have uh, a metal or a brass finish, uh, like to the lights. Uh, we could, we so could go on for a whole day uh, talking yeah, about this stuff. Ton of ton of random stuff, I would say. Yeah, Ooh, John Deere belt. Yeah, Deere belt. Yep. Yeah. For a mower. Oh, so that's going in the trash. Yeah, it's going in the trash. Let's go to the next pallet though. This pallet's a little different. This pallet is all uh, like bathroom fixtures, some tools too. Uh, bigger items like this is to uh, to a sink, a delta. And yeah, it's still in the box. Here's another Delta. Not sure what this is. Same thing, it's still a, it's for, it's the sink. This one's nice, American Standard. There's probably four or five of these, just different colors. Here's a spray gun for like DIYs. Another American Standard. This is all the way to the end of the pallet. So there's probably like 300 pieces of like uh, bathroom, like sinks, sets and stuff like that. They'll look like we didn't even do show this big one right here. Hold up, this is the wrong way. Look at that. Look at the price on that doll. Three nineteen. It's not bad. There might be like three or four of those on this pallet. Um, and people do buy these. I know construction workers buy them all the time. So, hope that's like a good showing of three different types of Home Depot pallets you're gonna get, and you might get bigger items on a Home Depot too. Uh, so you get a mix of mix of all these pallets? Yeah. Is it usually one more than the other or, or it's pretty evenly spread out? Usually you're gonna get more of the smaller item, smaller pallets. You might get like two or three of these and then like two or three of where there's only like three or four big items on there. 
but you never know you never know what's gonna happen when you buy a load uh, most of the time they're pretty consistent with what you're gonna get but yeah uh, once you get a good consistency with buying loads you get an understanding and how you can make some cash with these pallets because people love them because let's say you're redoing your bathroom you find the place where they sell these kind of buy liquidated Home Depot items like you could probably get that for a third of the price the the set right here for 319 you'll probably get it for even less than third of the price uh, so yeah that's a uh, those are the three Home Depot pallets. Uh, we like them. We get them in a lot. Um, no. and what else? Well, what else is a reason why you should buy these loads? Uh, the bin store, and uh, instead of just doing you know the small Amazon stuff or the small targets, throw in three or four pallets of Home Depot and see how it goes. I feel like sales will go up on the bigger days, and then sales might go up on the smaller days. There's a lot of high value stuff, and there's a lot of stuff that's like under that. Ten dollar MSRP. Um, so yeah. Back to the carpets, huh? Yeah, back to the carpets. You made a sale? No, but Damien's back. Six more pallets left. I think this is a pretty, pretty uh, good-looking load, to be honest. Um, we got four different kinds of carpets. They're all 10 by 10. Um, yeah, and you guys can kind of see what we do here all day. We sever fingers. We sold a bunch of stuff. We repalletized a bunch of stuff. We processed some Home Depots. We listed some stuff on eBay. We bailed a bunch of bales of cardboard. What else did we do today? <laughs> Installed some new lights. <laughs> Installing some cameras. A lot going on. A lot going on. And then it's, right now it's 4:40, and we got a. We still got a truck coming in here to pick up. He said we're gonna be here by 5:30, so we'll load them up. 26 pallet load sold of Amazon. Shoot, I don't know what else I got, but pretty uh pretty decent day at the warehouse. Pretty productive. We still probably got two, three, four hours left of work to do, but I'm gonna let you guys go because everybody else is leaving too. So <laughs> me and Cake are gonna keep slinging away at these carpets. That's what? it. Like, subscribe, comment, drop a freaking question, whatever you guys want. We will answer it in the next video. Buy some mystery boxes. Definitely buy some mystery boxes. Definitely go on nicefineholesale.com. Check out what we got to offer because um, yeah, we're switching it up. Wholesale game now baby yeah that's it peace